On today's episode of Watch JR Go, I'm here with Scott from the Detail Dudes and all the greatest soccer mom cars of the early 2000s. What is going on guys? I am Watch JR Go and like I said, I'm here with Scott from the Detail Dudes and we have all of my SUVs here. We've got the X3. The winner is coming to pick it up very shortly. And we have the Envoy, which has a little bit of work left to get done. We gotta obviously do the headlights and Detail Dudes just cleaned it up. It's looking really good. And then we have the Xterra that I've got a whole video coming up on. I'm pretty excited about that. But today, you guys have seen us uh, polish out a lot of headlights over the years. Yep. A lot of headlights. And my normal combo is M105, M205, a little heavy cut and a little lighter cut. And then uh, it usually works out pretty well for me. Yep. And then yours, you pretty much, you I one stepped those the other day with. Uh, yeah, usually use a, a wet sand, wet oh, sand, a thousand grit. That makes then, sense. I guess then, it wasn't a one, yeah, <laughs> it was not a one it's step. It's not quite a one step. Yeah. So the Aztec came out really good though. Yeah. 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 Yep. yep. Thousand grit and uh, polish. Done deal. Yep. So today, we're going to go to O'Reilly's. We're going to buy every single one of the headlight restoration products off the shelf because I was there. And I was like, man, there's a lot. There's so many. Yeah. I counted the other day, I think there were seven or eight. Okay, well, we're gonna buy uh, we're six. Gonna get six. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get we're gonna buy every them. single one. Yep. And uh, we're gonna try them out on these headlights because every single one of these has cloudy headlights. The X5 looks horrible. The Envoy is about half Z's right there. Okay, that one's worse, that yeah. one. And then this one is about 100% clouded over as well. So we're gonna go grab some sauce. Let's just go to O'Reilly's right now and uh, start buying some stuff. Yes, sir. All right, let's go shopping. I have a feeling this might be expensive. It may be. <laughs> I don't want oh, there's a whole section. Yeah. There. I guess we're just gonna get but this one. There's, there's only six in stock right now, so it's perfect. Perfect. We're getting all of them. And then the Rain X one. It's on sale. Three M. Yep. Oh, there's two three M. So there's actually three three M's. So oh, yeah, like every one of those yeah. are different. Yeah. And there's easy, heavy duty. What's that one? Restore, is, protect, headlight restoration. Yeah. And then the new lens headlight renewal yep. kit. All right. And it comes with the power ball for lights. Got the power ball. And then we got the turtle wax. Got the turtle wax. Anything else we need? I think that pretty well does it. Pretty much. Uh, you can definitely use plastic X and there's usually a McGuire's kit, but if the kit's gone. Yeah, the, yeah there was no kit. Huh. Well, all right. Yeah, man, we're gonna do a science. We're about to figure out which one of these is the best. Yes, sir. All right, thanks, Kevin. Yes, sir. Have a good one, brother. Yep, you too. Later. All right. All right, it's time to go do some work. We're gonna fix all of these cars in one day. We are back from O'Reilly's, and you can see behind me, we have all of our kits laid out with the stuff you'll probably need to actually do all of these processes. So, we've got a microfiber for each one, and for a couple of them, I think this one and this one, you're gonna need a drill because this one has a power ball in there and this one has some polishing stuff and it does say you need a household drill, some water, detail cloths. Anyway, uh, we're just gonna kind of run through each one of these real quick. So this one is the Rain-X Headlight Restorer. Uh, this was like $7.99. Uh, this, is, this is becoming an expensive video. It was like almost $100 already. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't even started cleaning. Uh, wipe away any dirt or debris. Apply Rain-X Headlight Restorer to damp soft cloth or directly on the surface. Apply pressure using a circular motion. Rub on the headlight, wipe off. So, very simple there. We'll see how this works. Uh, I have a feeling this one kind of modifies the plastic structure instead of removing plastic structure. Uh, kind of like the ones that you shouldn't use, like off. A lot of people say to use off because it has DEET in it, but what that ends up doing is melting the headlight housing. So, hopefully these specialized solutions are better and do not actually melt the plastic. If you do try off on your headlights, it will come right back. Now, a lot of people also say to use toothpaste. Toothpaste is just polishing compound for your teeth. So of course toothpaste works. Like it works great. Toothpaste is amazing on ovens. It's amazing on like, honestly everything. The thing with toothpaste is you'll spend like three hours to try to get a headlight done and then come out with mediocre results. So back on to our products. We have the Blue Magic Headlight Lens Restore for moves yellowing from this to this. Another probably chemical change here. Apply product with clean cloth, rub in circular motion. Don't use on headlights with PPF on them. Buff lens clean. Uh, extremely yellow or haze lenses may require several applications. Extreme damage, wet sand. So it kind of says to do what we always do. Sorry about the 50 mile an hour windstorm today too. It is insane outside, like hard to get in your car. 
Uh, 3M's easy kit here. This is their 30 minute two step kit. Uh, no tools required, 10X clear. It shows a brand new headlight there with Photoshop to an old headlight. <laughs> that's an incredible line. Um, improved brightness by 200% UV protection. So that's nice. That is always nice. It comes with gloves, a foam applicator, and some pads to snap on the applicator. They're like Velcro pads and some solution. Um, forgot to get masking tape. That was the one thing I needed. But I do have some, we'll be okay. Uh, this is the ultra headlight restoration kit here. It says it's even better. This is the one that needs a drill. And uh, the directions on these aren't printed on the back. It's the one that just says you need water and a few other things because you're wet sanding with a drill, basically. Turtle Wax Headlight Lens Restore. This, of course, has two different polishing pads. They're foam backed to, uh, you know, hand comfort while you're sitting in there forever polishing on these things. It comes with its own spray lubricant, so you don't have to bring water. And it comes with compound and sealant wipes. So it comes with UV protectant and all that good stuff. Uh, directions, wash the lens, mask around it. Apply in a circular motion, buff clean, restore one lens at a time. Uh, once it turns clear, go to step three, restore both lenses before opening the base coat wipe. Oh, cool. So this, this might be really good. And then this, which I think is probably the easiest one, is the Powerball from Mothers here for lights. And then it looks like it comes with a sanding disc and a Powerball. And the directions, attach Powerball to a cordless drill. Apply a nickel sized amount, start drill motor slowly so you don't sling it everywhere, polish in small areas until entire lens is clean, going back and forth, buff it clean. So I don't know if this comes with, I don't see any kind of UV protectant in this one. So I bet this one works really well, but over time fades away. Unfortunately, none of these vehicles will be here long enough for us to know what the overtime looks like, but we will know how easy it is to clean them up. So let's get started. Here's all of our products. Uh, they're in order of the headlights they're gonna be on. So Rain -X, Blue Magic, 3M1, 3M Big, Turtle Wax, and New Lens. Let's do it. Scott, which one do you think is going to be best before we get started? I, I have to agree. I think the Mother's is going to be the easiest, probably the best results. This one comes with something. Did that one have the yeah, sealant look, too? Yeah, look, it's got a sealant too, yeah. clear coat. Anything that comes with a sealant or something like that, I think that's just going to be the yeah, winner. Absolutely. I mean, they'll probably all do a good job, but which one's gonna hold up and really be worth your time and money. My other thought is that that Powerball is super abrasive. I bet it is. So it probably just strips the stuff away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get to taping and we'll come back to test our products. Here's the BMW before. I mean, these look rough. Envoy before, Xterra before. Luckily, all three of these cars use the hoods for the top of the headlights around. So we're masking everything else. It's always good practice to mask this stuff off so you're not in here compounding on paint that doesn't need it or you don't want it to look better than the rest, you know, things like that. So uh, obviously, especially with the drill ones, make sure you mask them because you could get into the paint and burn the clear, other problems. You could cause a lot of problems. So be careful, mask the headlights before you do this. We're just about done here. And right, we're starting with the one I have the lowest expectations for because it's kind of the simplest. But then again, Rain X's windshield kit is probably my favorite in the game. So, must shake, shake our product up really well here. And we'll just put a, a lot. <laughs> we're gonna go for a lot. Yeah. Because this headlight needs a lot. It so, is. yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, very yeah, thick. Very thick. Didn't expect that. I don't know. It kind of looks like it's working pretty it, well. It does look like it's working fairly for, well. For being very fast? Yeah, that, well, it just kind of makes me question what kind of chemical reaction we're actually having versus... Right, if it's it a didn't, polish. It didn't seem very, like, uh, grainy. No, it did not seem very grainy. It doesn't sound grainy, so... Okay, let's flip our rag and... Do a quick wipe. Much better. It is way better. Way better. Very, very fast too. Yeah, that was... Wow. For a quick do-it-yourself. All right, let's keep going here then. Doing it again with a ton. You can see quite a bit of grit in there. Yeah, there it is. There's... But on your finger, like, it breaks it down fast. Yeah, it's very quick abrasive. Yeah. Trying to keep it off the paint. Like, this is probably a typical usage. You're like, I just want my headlights clean. Right. I got about 10 minutes. Right. This is probably the kit for that. Oh, for sure. And, and I'm okay with doing it again. Right, exactly. Because you, you know, this might only last like a, a, a week. All right, I'm going to keep polishing on mine to try to get it even better while Scott works on his over there. 
Yep, we're gonna we're gonna test out this Blue Magic headlight lens restorer. It sounds much more liquidy than the Rain-X does. It sure does. It smells like a old Carnuba wax, almost. Real thin for sure. Ooh, it's very foul. Can Is you it? smell that? Nope, not yet. Oh, yeah. It's definitely got a lot of chemicals. Doesn't seem to be doing quite the job that rain did. did. No. Wow, and you're, you've been in it for a minute there. Yeah, yeah, it's for as strong as it smells. <laughs> All right, hit it again. I, I went three passes, basically. Amazingly, the rain -X really took the yellowing, at least the haze away, almost instantly. I'm three passes in now. I've tried to polish every little bit of it as well as I could. I will say none of that came out at all. Like that's really bad over there. And I spent a lot of time polishing over there too. So the clear part looks okay. The amber corner there, not so great. So the blue magic, not doing as well as we expect. No. Okay, here comes the rinse. We're gonna see if it's worth its weight in uh, 10, 11, $12, whatever it costs. <laughs> I mean, it looks even, it but looks still better, super but hazy. Yeah. Super hazy. So our rating on this one is disappointing. Uh, I would probably recommend something else. Yes. Unboxing our 3M Restore and Protect here. Let's see, it comes with gloves, comes with quite a bit of stuff actually here. A lot of stuff in there. Yeah. There's an instruction manual inside too, which is funny. Not gonna bother with that, obviously. <laughs> for men we don't use those right <laughs> okay so we got a whole bunch of trizac pads which is nice because this is the industry standard for wet sanding cars and all that good stuff so we have a glove quick clear coat and two different grades of trizac so 1000 and 3000 give me some uh some lubrication awesome all right uh, i'm gonna get to work on this and we'll see how long it takes Is about where most people would stop and I'm sure it says just keep going may require more than one kit for large hard to sand lenses oh yeah this is a shoulder workout it does say on this wipe since we were looking for polishing compound headlight should look smooth but still be hazy so maybe this is the magic and it has extreme UV protection I actually ended up giving this a little bit of a second pass my arm is much tireder now but I figured I'd take the kit all the way to where it's supposed to be. It does say in here, do not unfold this wipe, which is funny because it's like clearly a folded up wipe, but it says oh, just wow. polish it on. It does seem like that makes a very big difference. It made a huge difference. <laughs> this is literally clear coat in a, in a rag, so. Yeah. Made a big difference. Here we go. Dispose of your stuff properly. Put it inside the glove. It does say once you do this coating, uh, wait five minutes until this all dries and then do it again and then don't drive the car for an hour. Now it's time for the ultra headlight restoration kit. Scott's gonna do this one and luckily we have a rough headlight to work on here. Yes. We're ready to unbox this kit. It's looking like a lot more. I figured I'd give you the one that had all the work. Oh yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> so we've got Several pads, it looks like. We got a 3000, a 500. Ooh, wee. Oh, oh, it, it came comes with, with the, it came with the masking tape. tape. Nice. What a baller kit. Yeah, that's nice. I'm a fan. Oh. Uh, that, what is that? What is that? Oh, 800. 800. Wow, that's a lot of 500 grit. A lot of sandpaper in this one. So we got our 500 grit on the drill. I'm gonna gonna put a little bit of water on here. Lubrication, help carry away that extra headlight that we're going to pull off and <laughs> we're going to go for it. That is what I would call 
results. Yeah. It looks like it's really cleaning up. I'm ready for this. Oh man. No unfolding. Yeah, that looks like magic. Wild. And I guess we can just take this over there and take that other, other headlight yeah, again. Absolutely. Same stuff, so. First headlight on the X5. We're using the Turtle Wax Lens Restorer here. And let's open up this kit and see what we've got. We have some stuff in here. Uh, lens sealing wipe, lens base coat wipe. So two stages for sealing this up when you're done. We'll put those over there. Uh, it comes with a food service glove, which I'm going with a, that's a big negative here. I get that you only need it to run the, the clear coat stuff, but like all the others come with normal, like rubber gloves. So that's a little bit better. Uh, and then here we have our spray lubricant and our clarifying compound. Apply lens clarifying compound over entire lens, firm pressure, buff clean, restore one lens at a time, and then go to the spray lubricant and blue green polishing pad, and then spray lubricant uh, and flip the pad using the teal side of the second pad repeat process. Okay, so compound and then uh, sanding, which is kind of odd, kind of a weird order here. Ah, oh, they labeled every side of these using a color. So that's kind of cool. And they have numbers on them. So there's one, two, three, and four. Uh, that's kind of a nice touch, trying to make your life easy here. We're just gonna use a ton of it because we're gonna spread it across this entire lens. And I'm just gonna kind of smear it on there and then go for it. After all of our sanding steps are done, we have a nice even haze, the headlight feels really good. And now it says, go back to the clarifying compound, and it also says you can uh, machine apply this if you happen to have a DA. But if you happen to have a DA, you're probably not doing any of this because wet sanding with sandpaper and using the machine is the move. There's no doubt about that. So uh, let's go ahead and try this one more time and see what happens. Man. Yeah, it looks... Uh, I mean, that's very passable. My hand doesn't, I can't feel it catching anywhere. Yeah. I mean, it feels very good. We're gonna use the glove included in the kit to get the full experience here, but you hit this with the lens base coat wipe. It says to do them both, obviously. Uh, we're using a different product on each one, so we're just doing the one. The thing that's unfortunate is this is a one car kit. The three M ones you can just keep using. All right, so it does seem like this wow. probably works really well. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of stuff coming out, a lot yeah. of blue liquid. Yeah. There's our base coat. And we'll give it a second, come back with the lens sealing wipe. It looks to me like our clear coat is dry there. So let's move on to our lens sealing wipe and hit this for the final time. I will say so far, this is unbelievable. This looks really, really, really good. Wow. I really wonder if this is like a two stage clear basically. Oh, uh, maybe, like, yeah extra UV protection yeah. or something maybe. Yeah, or like just a curing agent. Yeah. Yeah, that's... This lens looks new. It, it looks new. This is a win. So far our take is, wow. So take a look at both lenses together here. There's the front of the BMW, right? This is uh, our starting point. That's what we have here. And beside each other, it's just unbelievable how well that worked. Expectations blown away. All right, now it's time for the mothers. This is the one I had the highest expectations with, so we'll see what, what happens here. Looks like we've got some power plastic for lights, and probably a compound polish, some sanding discs 
for severe damaged headlight, the Velcro backer, a 3000 grit, such good pads, and then the, the power ball. In a very surprising turn of events, the mother's kit let us down. It looks okay and it does work, yeah. but nothing compared to this turtle wax kit here. So we're gonna go through and give you guys a close up of each light that's been restored. Uh, I mean, there were three passes with the uh, headlight power ball there, the plastic power ball, and it didn't come close to even the 3M kit. The 3M kit is really good too. So let's, let's go through. So here's the light that was restored with the mother's kit. You can see there's like rotary sanding marks that appeared in there and of course, you can't really get down in to the corners with this kit. Here's the turtle wax kit. It is the closest thing to a brand new headlight. Absolute perfection there. Here's the 3M Ultra. It's very, very good. Uh, these lenses have some like cracking, but it did a great job bringing it back. It looks good. This is the quick 3M kit with the sponge. And it, I mean, it's acceptable, but you should probably just use a drill and the Ultra kit. This works if you're in a tight situation. The Blue Magic Headlight Lens Restorer is absolutely terrible. I mean, it might have taken the yellow out, but that's just worthless. And if you're in a pinch, you're in the O'Reilly's parking lot or at a gas station, one microfiber rag and the rain -X just knocks it out of the park for what it is. A little bit of elbow grease and some time, and it gets you really close. So the results are the opposite of what we expected, basically everywhere. Turtle Wax knocked it out. The 3M one we did know was gonna be good. Obviously anything 3M makes is very good. Yeah. They make all the polishes the body shops use. Trizact is the standard pad at a body shop. I mean, that's what you use to polish paint. Yeah. It works great taking material off headlights. So what we are gonna do now is probably take the 3M kit and finish the other headlights and maybe seal them with the Turtle Wax stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on some of these headlights with the Turtle Wax sanding paper and uh, We'll just grab, we'll grab what works out of here, the 3M and the Turtle Wax, and just keep going. And we've got plenty of sealant left to finish all these up and get them all clear coated. This Rain X one though, is really good. I just, I don't think it has any UV protecting after the fact. Right. That's what's too bad. Right, yeah, if there was protection in it, it'd be, it'd be great. Yeah, but in a pinch, Oh yeah. What a go-to. Yeah. And so cheap. Yeah. So cheap. It was the cheapest one of the bunch. It was. Bunch. Absolutely. So to wrap this up properly, Scott re-sanded this one all the way down with the 3M kit and then polished it with the uh, Mother's Power Ball one more time. And I will say it looks really, really good now. A lot better. And the 3M and the Turtle Wax ones we're leaving alone because they came out pretty well. This one was re-sanded with the hand foam pad and all the 3M pads and it looks like it's ready to be sealed and it'll be good. And then these two were re-sanded fully with uh, the turtle wax kit by hand and we're ready to seal those. Two more wipes and that should be enough to really cover all these then wait five minutes and hit them all again. Our rankings in order are the turtle wax, the least professional of the names in this <laughs> test, right? Yeah. Obviously 3M is probably the most professional yep. and then probably Mothers because that's a real detailing product and then turtle wax, which nobody's wanted to use in the last 30 years. Right, yeah, they've just, Knocked it out yeah. of the park. Unbelievable, the clarity in that headlight. The 3M kit is gonna take a little bit of work. Obviously you can use your drill so it takes the elbow grease out of it, which is very nice, but just expect to spend some time on that. Very good results. 
probably then followed up by the mother's kit, which works if you put in a lot of time. Scott got that one to look really good, but nothing touches the clarity of the turtle wax one. Uh, we've obviously gone back over all of these now with the turtle wax and 3M kits and they look pretty close, so that's good. Uh, that one looks much better after being redone again. That was the easy 3M kit. Okay results. The blue magic one, I wouldn't even, wouldn't even buy it. It doesn't work at all. And the Rain-X one, amazing for parking lots. And we've added a little more clarity to it by finishing it off with the turtle wax one, but it looked good from the get-go. So that one takes literally one minute Yeah. and you're good. Yeah. So it was by far the quickest and easiest yeah. of, the, of the three or four. Quick and results. Ones, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, turtle wax one gives you a new geez. headlight at the end of the day. Yeah, that was a new headlight. Anyway, that's it. We tested every headlight kit O'Reilly's yeah. has. Got them all. Leave a comment with your thoughts below. And uh, obviously the old standby, a couple pieces of sandpaper, a bucket full of water and yeah. a polisher goes a long way too. Yeah. Yeah. But then you still need to do something to protect them. We usually yeah. ceramic coat. Right. Yeah. Fact. Ceramic coat or clear coat, but. So anyway, like I said, leave a comment below with what you would do, what you would buy, and I'll throw links in the description for all of this. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop, watch where you can get cool shirts just like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. It's insane. I mean, that's wild compared to this thing. That's hazy still. Yeah. Oh yeah. We have a plan. We got a treat for you guys. We're going to go to O'Reilly's. We're going to buy every single one of the headlight restoration projects. <laughs> you need me to bow while I'm out.